Hey everyone, I'm Daver. I'm Steve-O. And we're the Fragrance, Fragrance Bros. Bros. <laughs> <laughs> we're mixing it up on you. Fragrance Bros, Fragrance Brothers. Even all the same. works, it all works. That's right. Anyway, today we are doing Burberry for men. Yes. This is one that I haven't seen on YouTube at all. Mm -hmm. And I don't think, well, could be wrong, but I don't think anyone has reviewed this on uh, YouTube at all. Yeah. So this is kind of exclusive to the Fragrance Bros. The Fragrance Brothers. <laughs> so, so anyway, this came out in 1997. The fragrance notes are mint, lavender, sandalwood, cedar, and rich amber. And this is kind of a powerhouse fragrance. Like, it kind of reminds me of, um, uh, it really does kind of remind me of the 90s. Hmm. So it's kind of, it's kind of that, it's kind of, um, I don't know what to call it. It's kind of a little bit, a little bit more elegant type yeah. of fragrance. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, let's get to it. What did you get out of longevity and projection? Well, for me, projection was about average. Um, I'm sorry. Let me reverse that. <laughs> longevity was about average. Projection was awesome for me. Uh, smelled it for a good two hours, just a nice thick kind of mist, if you will. Uh, yeah. It's just real... I don't know, real confident inspiring, confidence inspiring, I'm sorry, if you will, if you know what I mean. It's just a real strong, present fragrance. Yeah. Yeah. I know for me, I got, I think it was about the same. Longevity was average, not average, what, what you would think out of a normal fragrance. Uh, projection was excellent. I thought this is a, this really does cut through the air mm -hmm. in a good way. Like you don't yeah. need that many sprays. You could do, you could do like three sprays max and I think that would, that would be really good for this fragrance. Mm -hmm. Or you can start off of that, and then that might be <laughs> that might be your cutoff point yeah. at least. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's see, season. I would definitely say this is fall and winter. Yeah. But you could do this on spring nights as well. I mm -hmm. think so. This would work really well at nighttime. Uh, what do you think about seasons? I would have to agree about the uh, the fall winter especially. It's definitely a cooler weather fragrance. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely cooler weather fragrance. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say this is really good for a date or formal. Oh yeah. I don't know about. I don't really know about work. I think this kind of cuts too much for for work, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit too to me. It's a little bit too uh, a little bit too heavy for work. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, I don't really know how to describe it, but it is like when I when I think of work fragrances, I think of usually something fresh, mm -hmm. something light, something that's not going to offend anyone. Yeah. Someone's not going to choke someone if you work, ne you know, next to someone or mm -hmm. something like this. So I don't really think of that with this, uh, but I do think that. That is a really good date fragrance if you like this scent, and um, for formal, I, I think this is, this screams formal. Yeah, to absolutely me. screams it. Yeah, I would agree. I would say uh, just like you said, Avery, it's it's got a more heaviness, uh, a more heaviness. It's got a more certain... heaviness. We're the remember that. <laughs> we're, we're the Grammar Brothers. <laughs> yes, it's got a certain weightiness to it, um, but also I think it's uh, for me it just screams like elo eloquence and class, sophistication. Um, honestly, it reminds me of James Bond. Um, so it's something you could wear it to work maybe if you have a more formal job, um, but I would say definitely for like a date night or for just some kind of a class event, special occasions, um, something like that would be more appropriate. And what does this remind you of? Like what do you get out of this? Um, well, like I said, it's, I mean, James Bond, it just, it screams class to me. Um, I feel sophisticated when I'm wearing it. It just brings that out. Yeah. I know uh, with me this is kind of a, a weird fragrance. <clears throat> like uh, uh, to me, what I what I what I kind of get out of it right away is red vines, <clears throat> like the licorice. Like this this reminds me a lot. I don't know why, but it reminds me of red vines. And I like red vines, but I don't know if I want to wear red vines. You know. Yeah. But but it, it kind of reminds me of that, but it doesn't. It almost has like a waxy smell to it. Almost like I don't know. I don't know why, but on my skin it kind of has like almost like a waxy type mm -hmm. thing going on. Man, that might be why it reminds you of red vines because it's really sweet. Yeah, it's really sweet, mm -hmm. and not in a bad way, but it's just it's really sweet, and it kind of has some kind of um, waxiness in there. So that's what it reminds me of. Uh, it, I don't know why but this kind of has it brings up a little bit of negative connotations with me associations. <laughs> I don't know why it's something in my youth that reminds me of something. Um, something weird. I don't really know. Like my dad never wore anything like this, but I love my dad. I, but I don't know anyone who wore this. But for some reason, it just kind of has some kind of weird thing. So I don't love this. Um, 
it is definitely an old school scent. Mm -hmm. uh, like when you wear this, you you're immediately to me uh, thrown back twenty years. Yeah, and uh, could be you know that might not be bad, mm -hmm. uh, but. So some people it might be. Some people might like newer fragrances. Some people might like to trend with certain fragrances or whatever. Yep. And this is not a trendsetter, uh, or you know, this is not in the trend right now anyway. There's, there's, I don't know anyone who wears this, no. and I don't know anyone. Um, I don't really know anyone who knows about this really. Like Burberry usually has Burberry London mm -hmm. is their rock star. Yeah, that's the big one. And so I don't like this is kind of an underdog fragrance a little bit, but it's still nice. Um, so yeah, what, what do you rate it? Final rating? Oh, for me it's by far five stars. Wow. I would absolutely love to have this fragrance. Must buy for you. It really is. It really is. And the thing is, like we were saying, it's not something I wear all the time. But for those special occasions, I mean, it's perfect. Yeah. Um, it's just got a real nice, like we've said before, just a real nice weightiness to it. The mix of spice and sweetness is just perfect. And uh, so I mean, yeah, for me it's a must have. To me, I'm gonna give it a lower rating. I'm gonna give it a two. I do not uh, like this fragrance. My wife loves this fragrance. Unfortunately, I don't think I can really rock this. It's not a bad fragrance, but to me, I don't know why, but when I wear it, I just think of, I just get like a bad vibe from it. I don't know why. This is weird. It's weird how scent memories work, yeah. and it's weird how scent associations work. So people are going to love this. Some people are going to really like this. Some people aren't going to like it. Some people might think this is old man a little bit. I don't think that, but... Um, to me, it's a two. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's our two cents, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching YouTube. Rate, comment, subscribe, and we will talk to you later.